Hi, what's up GQ? I'm the Killer Roy, and today I will be going undercover on the internet. This is actually me. Twitter. How did Kid Leroy drop a song like Without You and then end up dating his present girlfriend? I mean, have you seen her? Yeah, dude, she's really, really hot. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's beautiful. I love my girlfriend. When something's bad, whether it's relationship or like life stuff, it always feels like a lot. So that's kind of what inspires me to make songs like Without You. And then I find someone like my girlfriend, shout out Katarina. And uh, yeah, everything's good again. I absolutely love Kid Leroy, but why the f does he add all his old songs to the same album, F, 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 F. The reason I do that is because, so love, I had all these songs that I had recorded from that time period that like I wanted to, to put out, but it didn't really fit in the concept of like where my album was going. I just repackaged it and added it on as like a sequel type of thing. So how about I just put it all out and give it to you guys so I can be clear-minded going into this next project. The Kid Leroy throws me off so <laughs> The Kid Leroy throws me off so much when he talks because his accent sounds really American to me, but I'm not sure if that's because I don't know that many Australians and my brain ex expects everyone to be like, not the shrimp on the barbie, or if he really just talks with a light American accent. On my last GQ, GQ video, funny enough, I saw a lot of those comments, like a lot of the top comments were like, why does he kind of sound American? The answer for that would be, I don't know, dude, I've been in America for like a, maybe a little over two years now. So maybe that's what it is. I guess I, I haven't really been around a lot of Australians apart from my mom and, and stuff when she moved out here. It, it's weird because Americans will like tell me that I sound super Australian. They're like, oh yeah, I can hear it. Where are you from? Like you from Australia? But then uh, Australians would be like, man, you fucking changed, dude. <laughs> you sound American. I'm like, shit. Reddit. I never understood why people try to call Leroy a pop artist when literally 95% of his discography is R&B and hip hop. Yeah, first and foremost, I'm a rapper. I'm gonna continue to make rap and fucking R&B shit. All the people that love it and keep checking it out, then that's for them. And uh, the people who like the other stuff, got some stuff for that too. <laughs> but you know, I don't, I don't really like look into the whole genre thing that much. I don't really like sit there and make music and be like, okay, today I'm making a rap song, or today I'm making a pop song. I just kind of make whatever feels good. However you guys want to take it, you guys can take it. Why is Blink-182 listed as right as a fuck you goodbye? Because fuck you goodbye is actually a sample of a, of an old Blink-182 song. I mean, you gotta give the credit where credit's due, man. Anyone know where the Still Chose You music video is? It's on the way. And maybe by the time you see this, it might be out. Maybe not though. So crazy how fast this dude shot up. Heard he used to sneak into shows to meet celebs and that's how he started climbing. Wonder if he misses those days in Australia. Yeah, I definitely miss that shit, man. I miss just like running around the city and like going on fucking adventures and exploring. I miss like that super, super hungry feeling. You know, I'm, I'm still like hungry, but it's just in a different way. Now I wanna like, wanna make the best music I've ever made possible. Now I have like the platform to like do that. I definitely miss the feeling of we have to do this. We have to do this. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely miss that man, for sure. YouTube, YouTube. That's how I always say it, YouTube, but you Americans say YouTube. Okay, so this was this was a comment on the Without You video, and it said, I wonder what the TikTok dance is gonna be. It, it, it wasn't a dance, it turns out, actually. It was a uh, it was a trend, come make a wife out of a hoe thing. And it was like, people would just put like funny, like funny scenarios. I don't know, it was funny though. It was really funny. That stuff was really funny. So um, yeah, shout out to the, to the TikTok people. I wonder if Leroy is going to change his name when he gets older. No, I think, I think I'm gonna be the Kid Leroy forever. I definitely thought about it, but I guess everyone kind of knows me as the Kid Leroy now, so it'd be kind of like dumb to just like change it up. I don't know, it's, it's kind of cool, like Kid Leroy. Like it reminds me of like, you know, like, like Kid Cudi. Like, you know, <laughs> like that's dope. You know, he's, he's like, he's, he's like grown now. <laughs> Uh, this was on the Not Sober video. It said, why the fuck would you mix Hennessy with cola? And my response is, why the fuck would you not? This was on the 10 things that Kid Leroy can't live without GQ video. Wow, it's so crazy. I look so different in this video even. Changing every day, man. Shout out puberty. GG said, thinking of getting more ice or what? What's your next piece? Uh, I thought about it for sure. Thought about getting like a cool little custom chain, but like, I don't know. Again, I'm not really like, I, I feel like I'd get bored of it. You know, I don't want, I, I don't want to get something and get bored of it. And then like, oh shit, now I'm like 60,000 in the lose. That's some shit I don't even like. 
This was under the Not Sober video. Who is Stunner Gambino? How did y'all meet? We need more collabs with the both of you guys. Stunner Gambino is a kid from New York. He's really dope. And yeah, I just, I was just a, a really big fan of his, his music and his stuff. And I thought he sounded good on Not Sober. So I was like, slide. Cora. What's your favorite song by The Kid Leroy? I don't know, dude, I don't really have a favorite. I don't really have a favorite. Either Stay or Without You, which is kind of weird because they're like my biggest songs, but like, I don't know, I, I, I really like those ones. Okay, what did TikTok star Addison Rae say to The Kid Leroy? Uh, what did she say to me? She was like, hey dude, this is really cool. Thank you. Next. <laughs> How did The Kid Leroy rise up to fame? Did his parents care about him rapping and cussing? My mom swears a lot. <laughs> With her, it's all about like respect and like how you like treat others. But like in, in terms of the whole rapping thing, she was like, yeah, dude, go crazy. Go after it, man. If you want it, you can do it. Shout out to my mom. I love you. Does the Kid Leroy write songs specifically to be TikTok hits? No, I don't at all. The only thing I've ever done that with was the Addison Rae song. And that was only because I was being funny and I, I thought it was hilarious, but uh, I guess the world took that shit super seriously, which is, you know, I mean, it wasn't the worst thing that happened. And I also gained a, a new friend out of it. So, <laughs> so yeah, that was, that was kind of cool. Wikipedia. From a young age, Howard's mother, <laughs> Howard, Howard's mother would play him music by the Fugees, Erica Badu, and Tupac. That is a fact. My mom always used to play that shit all around the house all the time. And another big one was Kanye. Next one is Howard sees himself as an ambassador for Australia and wants to show the world what Australia has to offer. That's a fact. In Australia, for example, when I was like coming up, I never really had um, somebody that I could look up to necessarily that had like made it overseas and like, and like done it big for Australia. Now me being the person that's like, over here and like doing shit in America and stuff. I think it's very important to me for me that when I go back, I can help kids out who are just like me. I think, you know, Australia has some of the most fucking talented people in the world. I think the world needs to see that, man. Since moving to California, Howard Style has switched to high-end designers such as Salim, Louis Vuitton, Comedy Garçons, and is known for his love of knitted jumpers. I am known for my love of knitted jumpers. I love knitted jumpers. I think they're fucking sick. Yeah, my style has definitely evolved, but you know, I, my thing is like, all matters about what's in here, man. You as a person, as long as you as a person doesn't change, doesn't matter what the fuck you got on, man. This is all a, all a expression, you know? I think I like clothes is like another form of expression, just like music to me. Yeah, I just do whatever I want. I just wear whatever the fuck I want, so. This is TikTok. <laughs> what do you do in your free time when you're not making TikToks? I actually don't really make TikToks a lot. <laughs> so uh, I like record music, I'll eat chocolate chip cookies, I'll eat pasta, I'll eat a lot of things in my free time. I love eating, eating's cool. I like going to trampoline parks, that's really cool. Trampoline parks and like jet skiing and shit. This is Instagram. Arctic Fire 301 says, love the song, but the auto-tune, why? When I perform live, I like do a lot of like jumping and like like running around and shit. You know, I don't know. It I, Honestly, it just makes me feel a little bit better about myself like performing. This one is by uh, Casual Magic and it says, hey Charlton, how tall are you? You look taller than Justin. And I am taller than Justin. I am six foot, but with Air Forces, I'm six one. Yo, what's it like having a number one song? It's sick, dude. I mean, like, obviously it's crazy and uh, I feel really like blessed and, and grateful, but it's weird. Like I've said this a lot about like other things, but I'll say it about this as well. It's like, you always like have this expectation when something like that happens, you're gonna like, I don't know, you're gonna like unlock some like fucking power and like, you're gonna feel like crazy. Like you're gonna feel like, have you guys ever seen that meme of like SpongeBob, like floating up into the sky? Like that's like, <laughs> like that's how you feel like you're gonna feel. So yeah, dude, I'm just I'm just happy that I'm just happy that people like it. Okay, guys, well that was it. My name's Killer Roy, and uh, this is GQ, and uh, I hope you guys had fun listening to me answer your questions. Have fun with your lives.